Hello guys, welcome, come on in. Um, my name is Mr. Chris and what I have for you today is another at-home workout drill and or technique that you can use to up your game or get better in the game of basketball. Um, before I actually begin, I do want to send my prayers, my, my deepest wishes and desires to those families who have been affected, even if you haven't been affected by what's going on today, um, I still send you my best. I wish nothing. I wish you nothing but the best. May God keep you guys in good spirit. I hope you guys are all safe and well, and just keeping our heads high through these times. Um, what I have here today is a simple, very, very simple technique that was taught to me a very long time ago by an old coach of mine. Um, a little backstory on this technique, um, I had sprained, like, my ankle, and it kind of hindered me from really working out and actually attending practices, so on, so, so I felt really down about it, so, um, a couple of friends of mine, along with my coach, uh, they gave me just some techniques that I could use at home, just to try and just to keep me, just to keep my mind off of things, and keep me focused um so yeah all you're really gonna need today is your ball that's it all you're gonna need is your ball now before you actually attempt this technique i recommend that you guys are like away from any type of tv any technological systems or monitors you might have in your home just to keep away from damaging any goods your parents might have worked hard on, on getting and stuff like that. <clears throat> but, um, actually we have two techniques. Uh, both pretty simple, relatively simple. Uh, we're going to start with the first one, which is, I've, you've probably seen this around. Uh, maybe you've probably seen like the Harlem Globetrotters or something. That technique where they actually spin the ball and actually keep it spinning on their finger. Um, now you guys might say, oh, well, that's pretty dull, pretty boring. Well, subconsciously, that technique alone enhances your ability to focus and concentrate. Whether you know it or not, you have to use a substantial amount of concentration to actually keep the ball, actually get the ball up in the air to spin. That's one. Two, you have to concentrate on allowing it to land on your finger without falling off balance. And three, you have to keep rotating the ball. Now, we're not going to get too deep into that, only because we're inside, and I would rather do that outside. But just to give you guys a further breakdown, um, the more you try it, the better you'll get at it. That's like the most I can say about that. The most, the more you try, the better you're, the better you will get at it. And that I promise you that the better you'll get at it. Uh, a little tip to help is to try and rotate it on each one of your fingers. That's right. So when you toss the ball up in rotation, when it's come down, just try and every time, uh, every chance. Every time you do it, just try and let it land on a different finger. So the first time I do it, I might try and let it land on my pinky and see how long it can spin. Then my index finger, my ring finger, middle finger, thumb, so on and so forth. And if you're feeling a little advanced, try and switch hands. That's only if you're feeling a little advanced. Now, the second technique is actually, uh, I recommend doing this more often only because it will help your jump shot, your form, your posture, your release, the amount of strength you actually put into your shot to get to the rim, it will really help all of that. And it's very simple, really simple. So what you wanna do is you kinda wanna take your natural shooting form, however you might shoot the ball, we all shoot different. So however you might shoot the ball, you want to position your hands properly on the ball, however you position your hands. Me personally, I've, te I've taught a lot of my kids to, based on their dominant hand, how to hold the ball. So 
me I hold it from with my left hand I use it as like to hold which is my weak hand and my right hand which is my dominant hand I use it as a guide also as the force mechanism that I use to actually get the ball to the to the hoop so what you want to do is you want to position your hands on the ball properly and all you want to do is at first you want to give yourself five like pumps pump fakes you could say so you want to go one two three four five right now really simple after that fifth pump fake you actually want to release the ball into the air not hard not far you don't want the ball to go through the roof you just want to work on that wrist flick so one two three four five now on this sixth one I'm gonna actually release the ball simple right now normally um, I recommend doing this with like a medicine ball maybe a five pound medicine ball depending on your strength your body weight so on and so forth I recommend doing it with a, a medicine ball but I'm pretty sure you guys just have a plain old basketball which works just as fine so yeah that I do that about I, nah, I can't even give you a specific number I literally do that all day maybe I might do it for like an hour two hours straight literally I would really sit lay here and do that for maybe about two hours straight and again some people might say it's dull or it's boring or whatever the case is but subconsciously it's the it's really the little things that matter and the more you do that the better your jump shot will be the easier you will see yourself releasing the ball you will build confidence like that so this is like a list of things that that this little technique this little technique will help it's a really a list of things so um yeah that's pretty much what we have here for you today if you guys don't mind i actually recommend that you um keep continue working on what we did last week which consisted of our offhand pound dribbles and crosses and that that's just summit for two weeks and next week i have a surprise hopefully there's good weather so you guys can see to it um yet again i wish nothing but the best for our families our friends my prayers go out to anyone who's been affected by the times we're in today um yeah and that's about it uh it's me, Mr. Chris, and I'm headed out.